I just want to get to the point where I open the door. I actually haven't done Steps of Torment on Ultimate, but pretty sure that's where it starts getting hard. Like, this part's pretty easy. I haven't done any of the challenge dungeons on Ultimate. I want to start with Steps of Torment. Because from what I've gathered, it seems like the easiest out of them all. A Vitality's cap. The only thing that isn't capped is Aether and Pierce. Pierce is probably going to be a big issue. I don't think anything that's Aether damage here, though. Before I go to Perk Alderaan with my Aether cap. Okay. So yeah, I killed this guy, then opened the door. Very cool. Guys, easy peasy. He gives me an extra skill and key. Yeah, now I have three. I don't really have to worry about dying. <sighs> Let's go. Go, 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 go. You kill that guy, no problem. Suffering. Some exciting stuff. For me, at least. Everyone else probably does this in their sleep. But hey, I'll get to that point one day. Oh yeah, this place. I remember seeing this. Place locks behind you. A lot of heroes. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, it's not too much of a challenge so far. Got an achievement, the death room. How do I even look at achievement? Mitch window unassigned. Oh, it doesn't sort it through. It doesn't like sort it. Hmm. I'm sure it's just complete this room on ultimate though. Which is cool. Oh my god, the secret room. <gasps> that is not what I have on. Okay, I have the um, chest piece of Ignifar on right now. I know my legs currently are garbage, so that might be better. I'm just going by the name, Ignifar. Wave of fire, 25% chance when hit. Yeah, I mean that's e less of less defensive, more offensive. Fizz resist, less fizz resist actually. <laughs> that would leave me far uncapped on my poison and acid resist. Nah. Not right now at least.
Oh, it's blocked. Got these items later. Hey Flappy! I'm doing Steps of Torment on Ultimate for the first time ever. No one's ever done this before. Yeah, I'm the first person ever that can do this. This even mustered up the courage to attempt it. I'm doing fine so far. This is a lot easier than I thought it would be, honestly. Um, by the way, when I say that, I mean this is my first time doing Steps of Torment on Ultimate. In case that wasn't clear enough. The Eternal is d -d down, or is he? <sighs> oh, that was close. My pierce resist isn't cap. It's the only thing I'm really worried about with this. Probably what nearly killed me there. Let's get some decent gear. Definitely the easiest. Yeah, that's what I've gathered. Um, out of like, Bastion of Chaos, Perts, Fowls, Fury, and Ancient Grove, and the one that Forgotten Gods forgot to add. I'm just kidding. I'm happy with Forgotten Gods. It's cool. Watch me get that super rare ring that he drops like first try. Oh, they are adding a new dungeon next patch. Oh my god, that got me really hyped. That's awesome. That's what I like to hear. I keep hearing that um, Crate is gonna... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, stop updating the game? They said, a lot of people are saying that Forgotten Gods is the last expansion. A giant anus. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I was kind of um, confused why Forgotten Gods didn't add one, but I assume they just like didn't have as much. There's a few things that like, compared to Ashes of Malma. But um... I don't know, I wasn't too worried. Honestly, if I was to like rate Ashes of Malmoth and Forgotten Gods, Ashes of Malmoth would be way higher than Forgotten Gods. Like I liked I love the expansion because I love the game, but Okay, cool. That and the whole modding community as well, like even if they do What the fuck? Well yeah, they Oh my god, that's got me. Real excited now. But yeah, Forgotten Gods, um, this... The areas were really cool. Like, the settings you were in, but... 
Like, I know who gives a shit about this historian and action RPG and stuff, but whenever I go through things, I like to read the dialogue the first time. No. None of it made any sense to me, honestly. Like, it made sense. It was like, why am I doing this? Why am I here? I should be saving the world from the ethereals. Why you, um, why is this emissary coming and telling me that I, my true destiny is to... Is to help these random fucking witch people. Yeah, I actually am not gonna lie, halfway through Forgotten Gods I did stop and just started rushing through because I stopped caring. But holy shit, like the main story of this game, not just even the main story, like the side stories as well and like the notes that you find, there's some fucking crazy shit, crazy dark shit. A trip so is that one from forgotten gods i think i remember seeing a note called that that i picked up but i didn't read it in the base game okay my favorite was um the blood bath the bathhouse yeah oh by the way yeah boss fight i forgot <laughs> okay let's do this i kind of forgot there's a boss in here i don't know if you can one shot me but I seem to be doing enough damage, so... Bye bye. Got an achievement. End of Torment. Cool. Alchemist is safe. I really like the whole idea of Monster and Frequence. Look at all these chests. Do you play other action RPGs, Flappy? Like Path of Exile and stuff? Yay! Not for me. Yeah, I used to be really into PoE. Like super into it. Not lately though. Rune guard, 100% of activating. The runes. Wait, 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 what? Really from Arcane Harm. 100% chance of activating. 100% chance of activating on what? I'm assuming on hit. Like when you're hit. It doesn't really lack luster legendaries. Helma shotgun. Okay. Well, I mean, that was cool. That was um, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But it's nice to know that I can do that stuff. Maybe I should try Bastion of Chaos now. Definitely not going to Port of Alsberry with that Aether Resist. Oh, apparently I'm in the Bastion of Chaos now. I think we got this. Like, is this like my second time ever doing Bastion of Chaos? First time in Ultimate? And the first time I actually did it was so long ago, I don't think I remember a single thing about it. Discord. Wait a minute, I know what that is.
Uh oh, freeze, freeze. Thought I had freeze resist. There's a frozen guy in there, isn't there? Yes, he's almost dead. I just went back through the portal. Oops. At least he didn't teleport me randomly. So I do... 18% reduced freeze. I think I have some elsewhere too. Man. Okay, I, I remember this part with all the super annoying gates that you can't pathfind through. I remember that. Honestly, they didn't even see that pack of monsters that I just teleported into. It's so funny to watch those guys charge. They're just so big, it doesn't even look like they're going any faster. Mm-hmm. 
Cool, cool. Man, change to be crit is 15. Okay. This is getting a bit scary. Yeah. Cool. Anarchy. Don't know how long this is. I'm in trap. Harbinger of Blood. I don't know how careful I need to be against this guy. I'm just gonna assume I do need to be careful though. Just seeing how there's like three of him now, four of them. Now uh, there's zero. Your deceiver? Which one's deceiver? Uh, I don't even know where I'd begin guessing there. Um, I want to say Nightblade and oh, Inquisitor on a call this fuck. I'm not even close. <laughs> what uh? What kind of build is it? What kind of build is it now? What should I say? I played Inquisitor twice. Never played a cultist though. Doombolt spammer? Oh interesting. That's a big single target attack, yeah. Holy shit. Bingo. So you're not using that time dilation thing? Oh 
Yeah, exactly. That's, that's why I asked. I see a lot of people, um, are like just browsing on Reddit, people talking about like occultist builds. See a lot of people using that for their occultist when you don't even need it. And... Not a cap. There's this cap on CDR, I'm assuming, right? Where would that even be? Can you be as a tax team? Magical? Okay. There's a cap on cast speed and attack speed. There has to be a cap on CDR. How much do you have stacked? Oh, does it? Also, Inqui Quizzers has like crazy utility. Well. Most high CDR casters. I think I don't need like any CDR for this build. Everything's just spammable already. Like more tornadoes would be nice, but I just need one out. I I doubt there is like correct me if I'm wrong, but I doubt there resist I doubt this stacks. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, 40% need to toggle with CDR. Oh yeah. Notice that um most items with CDR give you like little tiny amounts. Seems like they're really careful about that. Makes sense. Oh yeah. So you used to just give more numbers on items. Reminds me of uh, how crit multi was in Path of Exile. This is too OP, so they just like reduce it on every item. Oh, when they did? Rip. It's cool that they're balancing the game. Like, some people would argue, I, I have one friend in particular that, uh, believes that, like, single-player games should never be balanced. Or he, he believes that, like, almost every game, any game that's not competitive, directly competitive, should never be balanced, and if things are OP, they should just leave it OP. I disagree with that. For, for a single player game, I can understand it more. Like a pure single player with like no ladder and stuff. Ooh, kind of like Grimdom. That's where mods come in. The game becomes trivial. Well, yeah, when you like completely learn and abuse some mechanics, right? But when, wouldn't they uh, usually come around and try and fix those mechanics every patch or so? They're not too often. Even like the hardest shit, like the super bosses and shattered realms and all that. Things should be strong, but if something is so OP that makes the game trivial and facial, yeah, for sure. I think, um, like you said, things should be strong, and things should be changed to be stronger. Like, things that are underpowered should be buffed. That's the most important part. You can't just, like, go around nerfing everything every patch. People would not be happy at all. When you nerf something, you have to give some them all something excited to try to like nerf something ridiculously OP and then buff something really underpowered. That's the goal. Or that's the way I prefer it at least.
This is a long dungeon. Yeah, exactly. Like, for a game like Grim Dawn that is single player, it's not the hugest deal. But the game I'm mainly thinking of when it comes to that, that argument is with Path of Exile. And Path of Exile has like ladders and it has like a competitive aspect, right? It has like, has a market, has an economy, has a ladder. Like, when you're doing better than another player, it's really obvious. Um, Grim Dawn though, he was playing to have a good time, like, I know I'm not doing the best, obviously, but I'm having fun still. But yeah, with games with like ladders and economies and stuff, that's really important. Because then everyone's just going to use the most OP thing. And if you're not using the most OP thing, might as well not play. I don't know, part of me really wishes that Grim Dawn had, like, a season system, though. Do you wish that? Like, as, like, an actual, um, like, veteran player. How would you feel if the game brought on, like, a season system like Diablo 3 and Path of Exile have? In my opinion, that's that's a big factor that keeps games like this alive and pop. I think the game would be much more popular. I don't know if it would be better per se, but it would at least be popular. I'd have more fun myself. Yeah, dude. I wonder if that's possible through modding. I don't know, that'd be really difficult. Yeah, bigger team. But dude, look at Blizzard. Look what Blizzard adds every season. You think Blizzard with their fucking millions and millions of dollars would actually be able to add content to Diablo 3 per season, but they they change numbers on a set and everyone freaks out. This is the biggest change to Diablo 3 in history. And then like 20 years later, they add a new class and charge you like $15 for it. Epic. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah, something like that. Everyone else is on Diablo Immortal. <laughs> I wonder if, like, the infrastructure... I don't know how, like, the modding tools for the game... Okay, here's the boss. I should focus. This guy has, if I remember correctly, the last the boss was up to torment had a lot less health than him, right? Maybe not. Don't forget to flashbang. Very cool. Another achievement. Yeah, I wonder if um the whole tools are set up to set up like a fan-made whole season system. It'd be really hard because cheating with mod support and all would be ridiculously easy and hard to control. Ascendant chest. I think I have a few pieces of this set. Storm spread, bursting round, deadly aim. It boost targets resistances. Ooh. I mean, that just seems like a good Inquisitor gun. You're on that kind of build. Hmm. 
Do, 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 do. Where is that recipe? Here it is. Oh, I got her. Didn't even tell this was a legendary. Max vitality, earthquake, 20% chance, one hit. You have a chance one hit for a chance to stun for half a second. Other than like the damage seems fine, I guess. I don't know. I hate that. I hate that stuff though. Yeah, you have a chance for a chance for a chance of something. Cool. Now, I think I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna go as far as I can in Forgotten Gods until. Well, I just can't anymore.